Wilfreda, also known as Wolfthrith, was a 10th-century Catholic female saint and abbess from Anglo-Saxon England, who was venerated locally in Wiltshire, Provenance. Wolfthrith is known to history through the hagiography of the Sekgen manuscript, John of Worcester's Chronicle, William of Malmesbury, Osborne's UITA of Dunstan, the Vita of St. Wolfthrith found in the Wilton Chronicle, a royal charter of King Edgar to Wolfthrith and the Vita Edithi by Gesellen. The medieval source record her as living an exemplary life of sanctity and virtue and her virtues were often contrasted to the machinations of Edgar's second wife, Ethelfrith. Life Wilfreda was a noble woman, a cousin of Wolfhild, born about 937 AD who King Edgar of England carried off from the nunnery at Wilton Abbey and taken to his residence at Kemsing, near Sevenoaks. While at Sevenoaks, Wilthroth gave birth to a daughter, Edith. After at least a year, Wilthroth returned to Wilton Abbey, taking Edith with her. She later became head of the abbey and outlived her daughter. According to early monastic texts, under St. Dunstan's direction Edgar did penance for this crime by not wearing his crown for seven years. As part of his penance, Edgar gave Wilfreda six estates in Wiltshire and the Isle of Wight which she passed on to her abbey at Wilton in 965 AD. Since some form of bride abduction may have existed as a vestige of earlier Anglo-Saxon tradition, historians have alternatively referred to Wilfreda as Edgar's concubine or his second wife, though never a captive. Given ecclesiastical mores at the time, the penance was likely related to his violation of the sanctity of her religious vocation. Rather than any personal affront to Wilfreda, it is clear that the two may have had continuing friendship long after her return to Wilton. At any rate, Edgar seems to have acknowledged Edith as his offspring. The relationship may have been considered a marriage despite formal church sanction, as was the custom of the time, and therefore Edith as legitimate. Wolfrith continued to have considerable influence upon Edgar after her return to Wilton. She was able to stop bailiffs arresting a thief who had taken sanctuary in the abbey and was able to secure the release of two Wilton priests who had been imprisoned by the Reeve of Wilton. As abbess she built a stone wall round the abbey and also used her wealth to build up the relic collection of Wilton. Gesellen calls her the hidden treasure and light of the abbey and she was held in high esteem during her life, and she is credited with miracles during her lifetime, and almsgiving, veneration. Both she and her daughter Edith were regarded as saints after their lifetimes. Wolfthreth died at Wilton on 21 September, c. 1000 AD and was buried before the main altar of the Abbey Church of St. Mary's Church, Wilton. Her feast day is September 13th.